My name is Tom Kindred. I'm the platform and engineering lead for this project, the T7 LNG. My job is to bring together the different functions, so design engineering, brand, manufacturing, purchasing, testing, all of the different departments that are involved in product development. And in this particular project, we had the additional team from Benjamin joining us. So for this project, for the T7 LNG, we had to modify the standard tractor in terms of packaging underneath the cab, many components and systems to be repackaged underneath the cab. But the important thing was to keep the basics, the transmission, the wheelbase, the track grips the same, so that we don't limit the functionality for the customer. The cryogenic fuel tank is designed to fit around the constraints of the axles, the wheelbase, to fit within the existing tractor. So the similarities with this tractor are mainly from a customer point of view. The engine performance, the behavior in the field will be the same between the diesel and the, and the gas powered tractor. At CNH Industrial, we are breaking new ground every day. Searching for solutions that make agriculture more innovative, sustainable and productive for our customers. And we do this hand in hand with them. A farm's carbon footprint is a major factor in determining its sustainability and environmentally conscious consumers are demanding sustainability throughout the entire supply chain. Farmers need powerful tractors that can run around the clock and are seeking lower emissions and predictable operating costs free from fluctuating fuel prices. Natural gas and especially biomethane are the ideal solutions to solve this issue. Now both in terms of emissions and performance. And New Holland has been at the cutting edge of alternative fuels for over a decade. Today, we are manufacturing and exporting methane tractors to countries all over the world, from our Basilum Alternative Fuels Centre of Excellence. They are produced on the same production line as our standard diesel machines. And it's a sense of pride for us here in Basilum that we are helping to produce the future of agriculture. CNH Industrial is leading a new era of agriculture, drawing on its history of innovation to deliver a more sustainable, productive and profitable future. The new T7 methane power prototype tractor, powered by liquefied natural gas, will help our customers to be even more sustainable. It enables farms to be both energy independent and carbon neutral. In fact, if you make the biomethane from animal, crop or food waste, you can even achieve a negative carbon footprint. But what's quite so special about this T7 LNG is that it is within the same packaging as a standard tractor. It delivers the same power, same torque, and enough fuel for a good day's work. That's because by liquefying methane, you can store more in the same space than when it's compressed. The Benjamin multi-patented cryogenic tank technology enables maximum use of vehicle space. The new T7 methane LNG also provides all the standard features of the new T7 range with over 270 horsepower on tap and it's equipped with the New Holland Advanced Precision Farming Technology like PLM Intelligence. Here at CNH Industrial, we believe in strategic partnerships to deliver disruptive innovation. Slow is collected in a covered lagoon which captures fugitive methane. Over 20 years, the heating effect from methane is 86 times more harmful than CO2. The fugitive gas, which otherwise would have been lost, is collected and refined into biomethane, which is compressed and liquefied. The solution enables both fixed or mobile processing, so it works for all livestock farmers. This can then be used to power the farm's tractors, generating additional revenue for farmers. They can sell the excess biomethane, as well as make their own 100% natural fertilizer. Plus, you could move the fuel to exactly where it's needed. It can directly refuel tractors and trucks and can also be converted into electricity, even in remote off-grid areas. And this enables charging of future electrified agricultural equipment, electric vehicles, as well as providing additional power to the farm. The T7 LNG draws on the latest production T7 tractors, designed with our customers in mind. We farm here at Trenance Farm down in Cornwall. We've got 134 acres of grassland and we're currently milking about 110 Friesian Cross dairy cows. We've had the New Holland T7 LNG for six months now. It's the same physically as its diesel counterpart, so there's no downside to having a gas one. If you've got the fuel, you know, why not? Environmentally, there is a lot of benefits. It's helped our soil health and our grass growth. There's quite a few other dairy farms in the area that are very similar to us, and you just think if we can make it work, anyone can make it work. 
We've used this project to create a pre-production prototype. So everything you see here could go into production. There are many elements in the tractor that are special and they're new. The hood design itself is the new face of New Holland. First thing you see is our illuminated leaf logo. As you walk around the side of the tractor, you'll see the signature of the natural flow. And then next to the hood itself, you'll notice the front fenders, illuminated body colored front fenders. Traveling back towards the rear of the tractor, you'll notice the tail lights, which are inspired by the leaf. And then you look up and you'll see the animated lights on the sky dome roof. The roof now in the tractor is quite, quite special. It's got a sky dome glass sunroof. It's really a first. You'll feel also a whole new world inside with a fixed hub wheel. You sit in the seats and you feel, wow, this is quite special. Let's talk about the color. It's clean blue. And clean blue has been developed for this tractor because we want it to stand out. Our tractor design is inspired by nature and our tractor is powered by nature as well. We need to create function, but we love to do it with style. This new technology has been put through its paces on a variety of farms across many different applications. We expect to start the journey towards commercializing the LNG tractor soon, complementing our existing CNG T6 methane power. This tractor is another milestone on our sustainability track record of excellence, enabling farmers to be ever more sustainable, energy independent and productive, all while improving their bottom lines. The future starts today, a future that is good for the planet, our farmers and all of us. One that rewrites the rulebook and brings greater gains, breaking new ground for the better. Also the fact that it will be, have enough fuel capacity to do a good day's work. The differences are on the sustainability of the fuel that we're using. The fact that this fuel, the biomethane, is produced by the farmer from his own resources or waste resources. The cryogenic tank allows us to use biomethane with its better than zero carbon footprint. And in addition, the engine runs quieter, so this quiet tractor is even more quiet. With a maximum power of 270 horsepower, this tractor has the same torque, power and torque as a standard diesel tractor. This, combined with the fact that it's our C and H transmission, means we can tune them both together to get the best performance from the driveline for the customer in the field. So some of the main challenges in this project were the fact that it's pioneering technology. The, the tank was a, a first, so there were several iterations, design improvements, calculations, simulations to get through to the design that we see on the tractor now. A slightly different challenge of this project was that we we're integrating two different teams. So the, the Benjamin entrepreneurial small startup company, scientists, uh, scientists, chemical engineers, with their experience in the world of cryogenics, integrating that with our team of engineers with practical experience, methodical approach, and engineering expertise in, in designing and validating components. So what motivated me in this project is it's fun. We're working at cutting edge technology. It's the first time it's, it's what engineers love to do. The other thing that made this project fun is the people. The fact that we're bringing together people from diverse backgrounds, the Benjamin people with their background, different departments within CNH, bring them all together to make this project happen. On a deeper level, it feels great to be working on a project that's actually beneficial for society. It's not just an incremental improvement on the previous tractor. It's actually changing the way that tractors are powered with sustainable fuel benefits, for financial and economic benefits for the farmers. The last brilliant thing about this project is I can see the benefit in the real world. I really look forward to my sister, a farmer, installing a complete system and buying one of our tractors. One great thing about working on this project is we feel like we're part of a, the bigger picture of the environmental benefits, the COP26 really actually having a, a real concrete impact on the future of farming and reducing the emissions. This latest project is important to reinforce Basildon as a center of excellence for alternative fuels. It's really reinvigorated the team here, fresh young engineers, experienced tractor engineers, and working together on this, changing the shape of agriculture for the future. So the importance of working on prototypes for the team in Basildon is the, the, the fun of being able to do it. The fact that we've got the different skills from fabricating to electronics to 
uh, to welding, to assembling, to rapid prototyping, all of these different skills that are brought together to ha make a tractor happen in a super short space of time. The other benefit we have is that although we're working on new products, the future, the prototypes, we're just a stone's throw from the main production factory. So we've also got that that's bringing us, keeping in mind that whilst we're working on the future, it needs to be something for production as well. So working with the Benjamin team has been a, a brilliant experience for us. We've seen that the diversity, their approach versus ours, is, is what gets brilliant results because uh, and engineers on their own may not come up with the brightest of new ideas. Scientists on their own may not be able to make it a production reality. When we get the two together, and we've had some brilliant experience of having working groups with Benjamin engineers, CNH engineers, Benjamin scientists, welder, fabricator, in the room together, long days, but really achieving huge amounts of work and progress in a short space of time. The first impression of the LNG concept when I saw it was wow. Wow, because I knew the technology underneath and how cutting edge that was, but also wow, because the fresh new style really does do it justice. It, it, it is just wow. Hello, my name is Derek Nielsen and I have the privilege of leading the CNH Industrial Agricultural segment. I loved it. I love the tractor. Having seen many new products come to market over the last two decades, I never lose my excitement for actually seeing those tractors in the flesh. And in particular, this new T7 LNG tractor is not only has the innovation that will change the industry, but the styling and the presence makes me incredibly proud and incredibly excited for the future lies ahead. Let me start by saying that here at CNH Industrial, we regularly leverage partnerships with startup companies or companies who bring leading edge innovation in our industry. We do this to accelerate the availability of new technologies and solutions for our customers. With respect to Benjamin, this was a logical step for CNH Industrial as we continue to lead the industry in sustainable alternative propulsion solutions. This story goes all the way back to the mid 2000s, at which time our New Holland brand launched a then industry first biodiesel tractor. This built the foundation of many sequential steps in which our brand pioneered the advancement towards clean energy. This journey most lately saw us bring to market in 2021 a tractor which runs on methane gas, offering environmental and economic benefits for customers and the wider community. With the project we now have with Benjamin, we take the next step towards a full circular economy, where their infrastructure solution allows us to capture fugitive gas on the farm, which in turn allows the equipment on that farm, such as methane tractors, to be powered by those self-generated fuels where their infrastructure solution allows us to capture fugitive methane gas on the farm, which in turn allows the equipment on the farm, such as methane tractors, to be powered by those self-generated fuels. Well, Benjamin have developed a storage and infrastructure solution that is tried, tested and multi-patented. Their specific insight and knowledge of how to capture and process fugitive methane gas on a farm has allowed us together to fully unlock the full potential in the sustainability space. And all of this will allow us to accelerate our time to market for this new technology. Essentially, it is our farmers who are going to see the main benefits of this partnership. Basically, we are going to offer a complete solution to run an energy independent farm. The captured fugitive biomethane, which is created on the farm, will be processed and used to run fugitive methane powered equipment, including, wait for it, a gas powered generator, which will provide all the electricity required to run the farm. It will truly be an energy independent farm. Furthermore, it will allow the farmer to run their operations with an overall better than zero carbon footprint, 
Why is that? On a dairy farm today, an untreated slurry pit generates greenhouse gases. Going forward, that will no longer be the case for our farmers, as they will capture and use those gases to run their equipment, offering an incredibly positive impact on the environment. And it doesn't stop there. This solution will also provide new opportunities and revenue streams for our farmers. Not only will they produce their own fuel at a stable cost, they will also have the opportunity to independently sell excess biomethane on the open market, generate 100% natural fertilizers from the residue that remains, and convert excess methane into electricity. So clearly the journey does not stop here. At CNH Industrial, we will continue to strive to develop technologies and present new solutions to meet our customers' ever-changing needs. With regards to electrification, this energy independent solution will allow the biomethane produced to be converted to electricity through a methane powered engine within a genset. This will see the system also power our new exciting electric products which we are bringing to the market soon. This is definitely not a niche solution but an evolution of the new Holland T6 methane tractor which can already be purchased today and quite frankly is working on many farms across the globe. In agriculture, we are leading the way with this technology solution with the plan to extend it to our entire portfolio of products as we presented in our 2022 Capital Markets Day. Also with LNG now standard in trucking, the benefit will be across other product lines which the farmers use today. So we are extremely proud of the way the two organisations, Benjamin and CNH Industrial, have successfully collaborated in order to present a fully functioning system including an industry-first liquid fugitive methane power tractor. To have brought that multi-patented technology to the field in the time frame they have makes me immensely proud and again shows our relentless commitment towards sustainability in the agricultural industry. Now that we have fully proven the concept, we are very much focused on the industrialization and the commercialization which will see multiple farms converted to this independent energy solution in the very near future. There is still a lot of work to be done, but with the progress to date, I am really confident in the team's ability towards the next steps. Being an industry pioneer is in our DNA. Again, New Holland was the first with biodiesel, then with compressed natural gas, and it was the only brand in the world with a fully functioning liquid fugitive methane tractor. It's simply who we are and what makes us unique. I think this liquid fugitive methane tractor and the associated infrastructure is a perfect example of our company's purpose. This is entirely breaking new ground where innovation, sustainability and productivity lie at the heart of the project. All of this to bring sustainable benefits to our farmers worldwide. Hi. I'm Oscar Baroncelli, Head of New Holland Tractor Global Product Management. The T7 Methane LNG comes with all the benefit of a standard diesel tractor. It offers the same autonomy and power as its diesel counterpart. When it's time to refuel, the process is also exactly the same. What it makes it different, however, is its vastly better sustainability as its ability to run on liquefied biomethane produced on farm with a potential overall better than zero carbon footprint and a reduction of dry by noise level of 50%. Power and torque are the same as a diesel, 270 horsepower. It's compatible with the PLM intelligence. Its ability to run effectively and reliably on a fuel independently produced on farm outstanding operator environment with best-in-class cab, and the cutting edge styling, which includes LED lights, sky dome roof, which, while a prototype, provide a glimpse into the possible future styling with benefit for our customers. The T7 range was chosen to be the first for the LNG project, as its natural evolution from the T6 CNG, with a wide mission profile, including primary cultivation, transport and a wide range of implements. These make it a widely used product on a variety of farms. Tests have shown how much more power LNG enables across a full working day. The vehicle architecture and packaging make the T7 the perfect range for the LNG project. 
The T7 LNG is produced at the Alternative Fuel Center of Excellence in Basildon to leverage on existing skills. With LNG power, there is a vast opportunity for extension to other products ranges, and it's a key enabler for the expansion of CNH Industrial's broader future natural grass portfolio, particularly towards larger and heavier agricultural equipment. Our customers will gain a tractor that has increased productivity as Benman patented tank solution maximizes fuel storage so more powerful tractor can work for longer. Increased sustainability when integrated into the Benman's liquefied biomethane production process, operation overall carbon footprint can be better than zero. As well as energy independence, this can all happen on farm where the farmer can produce their own fuel at a stable cost, independently sell excess of biomethane on the open market, generate 100% natural fertilizer, and furthermore, to convert the methane excess into electricity. The target of this project is really to, to change the, the ag world. So we're doing here something unique, uh, something as a pioneer, uh, something that uh, will be a radical change and we're building an end-to-end -end solution for the customer from tractor to the biogas production and to overall energy independent farm. Those are all ingredients that makes this product super exciting. For sure to work with uh, Benman uh, is a great experience. So Benman is a startup. We are a big company with uh, clear processes while the startup approach is to be fast. This was uh, a very, very interesting approach and the result we can see today. So in a very, very short time, we were capable to put something viable and uh, that is working. So fast and processes are today delivering a very good mix. Aspiration are super high. We are thinking to reinvent the ag space, but uh, because of that, there are a lot of pieces into the puzzle. There is the product, there is uh, the infrastructure and there are the customer acceptance. So we are putting all together these kind of pieces and we started the journey with the, the compressed natural gas. This is important for New Holland because we launched in 2006 uh, the Clean Energy Leadership Strategy. Then in 2009 we launched the Clean the Energy Independent Farms approach. So this is very important because it demonstrates the willingness and the, the, of the company that those are not only slogan, but the company is working toward a more sustainable farming, more sustainable agriculture. And with this program and with this product, the company is delivering its commitment. I think that this is a perfect example of uh, the company statement breaking new ground. This is something unique. This is something that the competition still don't have. And the target of this program is really, really ambitious. So target here is not to sell more tractor, but is to, to change really the ag space. And what else? When I first saw the, the new T7 LNG tractor, it was amazing. For sure, it's gonna bring to another level all the other tractor that the marketplace is having right now. Uh, We're raising really the bar in time of styling. Last thing you see, is our illuminated leaf logo and this is uh it's a new development it's something that we are very proud of having designed and it makes the tractor be proud to have it so the whole idea is the logo is the face the logo the front of the tractor is the face of the brand and this illuminated leaf uh, outline leaf now that we have i think gives you the chance to see that uh, even as it gets to dusk Nightfall, really, from a distance, it will stand out. So this is quite special. The hood design itself is the new face of New Holland. We've taken the natural flow and we've integrated this into the design of the hood itself. So it gives a very striking element and it really gives something that's memorable and recognizable from a distance. And this was the whole idea that we would have something inspired by nature would really stand out. Tractors can't be inspired by speed because they don't really go very fast, but they should be inspired by nature. And that's the whole reason behind the natural flow. 
The tractor is really going forward for new technology and the design of the tractor itself needs to reflect this. And then next to the hood itself, you'll notice the front fenders. The front fenders now have a function as well as covering the front wheels. They, they have integrated lights in the fenders, body colored tops on them, and they really look the part and now not only style but function as well. You can see from the side view of the tractor that the branding has developed and the logo, uh, the New Holland Leaf, which is really a signature for New Holland, is now on the side of the door of the tractor, illuminated, as you can also see on the nose of the tractor. And this has really now become very special. It's to be proud. It's what we want to see when we see the tractor coming towards us. But as then the tractor passes you in the field, you'll notice the logo, also the New Holland Leaf on the side of the tractor. Walking towards the rear, you'll see the um, animated coast to coast light on the roof itself. And then down you'll see the tail lights, which are now inspired by the New Holland Leaf logo. And uh, this is something that's very much inspired by what's happening today in automotive design. But why not? There's no reason why we can't get the best of the best from automotive and have this also in the world of agriculture and on our tractor cabs. Because also it's very functional. To be able to be visible so high up on the cab, to be able to use these lights for um, uh, emergency message as well as high level stoplight, uh, I think this is an important thing to do. On the roof itself, there is also the integrated antenna in the roof. So from there, as we move inside the tractor, climb up the steps, open the door, go inside, you see all of a sudden the, the steering wheel with a fixed hub wheel. Now this is a development that was done some years ago on a future concept that we had done, methane concept, and it's come into production. So what you're seeing now is real. It's high tech, it's very functional, sits, the screen sits in the middle of the wheel, the wheel turns around and it stays fixed, and you get perfect visibility of, of the information that you need. And that's showing that the ideas that we do on concepts actually do make it through into production. From there, you look around, you sit in the seats and you feel, wow, this is quite special. It has seats that could be in a luxury sports car. And why not? Again, it's a working machine, but you want to feel proud of it. You want to feel comfortable in it. And then you also want to tell your friends and buddies, look what I have. I mean, this is just too hot, too good. So the seat is something that I think we, you know, we feel proud of and um, beautiful materials, uh, beautiful stitching to coordinate it and something that you feel comfortable but cool in. Also ergonomic because it's been designed with more shape to hold you on the fields when it's bumpy. So it's, uh, it's got function as well as style. Then you look up and you'll see the sky dome roof, mood lighting, um, electric sunshade. When there's too much sun, you can close it off. When you want high visibility, you bring it back. And this is something that's never been done before in a tractor. It's really a first. It's bringing automotive technology and style right into tractor design. And I think when you climb down from the cab, you close the door and you walk away, the whole idea is you look back. And you look back because you think, isn't this a cool tractor? So let's talk about the color. The color is very special. It's clean blue. And clean blue has been chosen, developed for this tractor uh, because it has to reflect again the technology. We want it to stand out. And also we want the tractor as it runs through and does its work on the field and the sun hits it, you can really see the highlights on the hood, the highlights on the, the body itself. So it goes from very bright to quite dark and the, the color flops. And it really is uh, something that makes you, you know, stand back and say, wow, that's quite special. So the color for us was important. And it's also important that it stands our tractors apart. So it's, it's an alternative fuel tractor. 
So this LNG alternative fuel needs a special color. The design team working on the project were absolutely international. And I think this has been quite a, a special project for us. Um, it gives us more creativity. So it's not only one designer who's actually designed the whole tractor. It's, it's a team, it's one team. So again, the, the, the idea of the design of the tractor and the style has to create something that really stands out and makes the operator very proud and also links into the technology that's beneath the skin. I think that's important so that not only the, the technical part of it is, is well done and is futuristic, but also the style and the interior reflects that. The key features and new features on this design are of course clean blue, the new color. Next you'll see the illuminated logo on the nose. Then if you walk back, the natural flow on the side of the hood. Right next to that, the two front fenders, illuminated body colored front fenders. Then walking back through the tractor, you'll notice that the leaf is now on the door, on the side illuminated leaf to balance the front leaf that's on the side of the door. Then as we walk rearwards, then we walk right around the tractor to the rear, you'll see the leaf inspired tail lights at the lower. Look up and you'll see this beautiful um, a coast to coast light coming side to side. Uh, gives a very strong signature from a distance. Then we walk back to the, uh, the door, inside the cab, uh, up the steps, and you'll see fixed hub wheel in production, fantastic seats, comfortable, ergonomic, and sporty, a uh, very ergonomic design armrest. Um, looking up, you'll see the integrated sky dome roof with uh, mood lighting inside and integrated antenna uh, inside the roof itself. I'm Chris Mann, I'm the co-founder of Benjamin. I'm also the chairman and the chief technology officer. Benjamin arose uh, primarily out of producing methane from waste grass product produce. Uh, and then in around about 2016, we um, came across the problem of methane gas being emitted from slurry lagoons. And at that point, we realised there was this huge untapped resource of energy that we could tap into uh, and improve a lot of other environmental issues as well. So we're stood here at Chinoeth Farm. This is our headquarters. Chinoeth actually means new house in, uh, in Cornish, and that's what we like to think that we're creating. Um, it's been really important for us because we've been able to work with real farmers and with real problems and come up with solutions that work for them. And this has meant that we, come up, we have come up with solutions that have had to be tailored, you know, low cost, um, easy to use and solutions that don't interrupt with the natural flow of business on the farm. When we first got into the business, we were planning to take waste grass, roadside clippings, golf courses, that kind of stuff, uh, and make new biomethane using an anaer anaerobic digestion process. And then when, on that journey, we came across this issue of fugitive methane coming off of slurry lagoons. First of all, it's already there, so it's free. And secondly, it turns out it's incredibly powerful in terms of the heating of the planet. 86 times more than CO2. So by capturing it, not only is it free, which really makes your business model stack up, but also you're doing this fantastic, you're getting this fantastic environmental benefit. And so the fugitive methane really means that we can have a big impact on the planet's future over the next 20 years. We needed to make sure that people understood that what we're doing isn't the same as a traditional biodigester. So we actually created the, this new fuel called fugitive methane. Once you go above a certain percentage, 93% or so, then it's, 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 it's got a similar energy density as diesel, so it can power big tractors like this. Um, but you really want to get that energy density up as high as possible so you can get as many hours of work out of a tractor or with a truck drive as far as you possibly can before you're filling. As a liquid, it's 600 times more dense than, than the gas itself. And this gives it a very similar energy density to other fossil fuels, which means you can do it as a direct replacement for diesel in heavy vehicles powerful EV chargers and generators and things like that. Cryogenic tanks have to be generally thought to be cylindrical up until now. We have some really clever IP which is able to control the pressure of the tank and that makes us work in, we can make different shapes. 
we used some of the knowledge we gained from that to realise that we could, if we could store the liquid methane on the farm, created from its own gas that would otherwise be getting into the atmosphere, that farm becomes independent in terms of energy, to the point where most farms will produce much more methane than they can actually use. So through the European Union, we proposed that we would take this whole farm of China Earth off grid, which is what you're seeing here today. A lot of this equipment was developed to do that, to enable the, you know, the monetization and the use of this really otherwise harmful gas. There's two and a half million farms in the world. So the only way we can scale up with that kind of speed, you know, and we're talking exponentially now, um, is by working with a big company like CNH Industrial, which has got a, such a huge wide range of manufacturing capability, but also partners their own, are also on a large scale. So this means once we get to that technology to a point where it's manufacturable, we can work really closely with them and their partners uh, to, to ramp up as fast as possible. And then of course there's the engineering expertise. You know, the project you see here isn't Benjamin, this is the combined output of uh, a, a very special project run between uh, New Holland in Basildon and ourselves, and also the, the, the CNH industrial engineers throughout the world. Um, incredibly, incredibly exciting to work with to see the scale of their resource in terms of design and manufacture on a fast, you know, on a fast turnaround. So without that, I don't think we would have been able to get anywhere near to where we are now. A couple of weeks ago, we got the assessment of Trinant's farm. Last year, when they had their carbon audit done on the farm, it was two and a half thousand tonnes. This year, now that the Benjamin solution is on the farm, it's only, only 500 tonnes. And I think that's the incredible thing that's now been provided by Benjamin working with CNH Industrial is we've now made farms part of the solution rather than the problem. And CNH Industrial, New Holland and Benjamin can be really proud of that. Going forwards, there's the ability to use some of the things that come out of the digester to improve soil health. So now we're starting to look at carbon sequestration, reducing artificial fertilizers, and that offers a whole new raft of opportunity for farmers. So the cycle starts with the manure, cow manure usually, but it could be pig manure, going into the, into the reception tank where it gets pumped into the base of the lagoon. Uh, the gas that comes off that is then captured and cleaned and put back into the bubble. Uh, the methane is then taken out, that's then used as a fuel, or it can be stored in between and transported off site to somewhere else. When it goes to the engine, it converts back to water and CO2, which is the original um, gases that the, the plant took up, so that's where the neutrality came from. And then what's left in the lagoon is really a rich digest state, which contains all of the nutrients which go back into the soil. And so that really is where the whole loop is, is finalised. So nothing comes onto the farm in that process and nothing leaves unless the fuel is going off site. So that farm is entirely self-contained. So we stood in the yard, myself and Matt Haig, the CEO, and we thought we've got to come up with a solution, you know, that's cheap enough to work for a small farm. So I thought, well, we've got all that wasted space above the lagoon. Why don't we store it on site? So if we store it for about a week and then design the processor to process a week's worth of gas in a day, we can share that mobile processing unit between five or six farms. Most of the things we've, we've designed aren't revolutionary technology. They're just at a very small scale or they're made in a very particular way. So we've had to make it because no one else does. And that's what Benjamin has been really special. The engineering team here, incredibly talented across a wide range of expertise. And their job is now to help get that into manufacture. So the, the, the mobile processing unit is really quite novel. Uh, it has a pattern application on it because it's been designed specifically for being, a, being small light to put, go on the back of a small vehicle to access any farm in even the, remote, the remotest places. It means that we don't have to put equipment on the site until we're ready to collect it. So even for very small farms, we might only visit once a month because it takes them that long to get the gas. It doesn't matter, we'll turn up when it's full. CNH Industrial and New Holland in particular, um, we've been working very, very closely since 2016 trying to come up with a whole end-to-end -end solution, i.e. You know, cow slurry going in one end, tractor fuel coming out the other end. And this is what you're seeing today. So I'm Kevin Hall, we farm here at Trenance Farm down in Cornwall. Um, this is County Council Farm. And I'm Katie Hall. Um, we've got 134 acres of grassland and we're currently milking about 110 freezing cross dairy cows. They're averaging about 7,500 litres of milk um, and we supply all our milk to Arla. Yeah, we're milking 110 cows at the moment, but we've got um, a lot of heifer replacements to come through. So that's the idea is to sort of rear and keep our own, our own replacement heifers.
it's mainly a, a dairy farm so we, we milk all the cows and we keep any heifer calves as replacements and then we also do a small amount of beef calves for older cows or you know different cows that have beef calves and then we sell them at a young age so it is mainly a dairy farm it's what the farm lends itself to really so yeah this farm here is a Cornwall council owned farm we're a county farm and this project all started off with a tie up between Cornwall Council and Bannerman um, to introduce the methane power into their transport fleet. Bannerman system, we were the luckiest to be the first one, built this one from scratch, it was a greenfield site. Um, we've had a lot of involvement with it, luckily for us, it's, we're really interested in the project from the start. It's a bit of um, being the first has been built as it's gone along really. The construction started back in 2019, it's been quite a long process being the first one. Um, with plenty of ups and downs on the way, but the, the pro now we are finished, it's working really well. It's given us a, the slurry store that meets all new regulations. We have to have six months of storage. Um, it gives us all of that and also a better quality of slurry because it's anaerobic. Um, and then the, all the benefits now of the gas system coming into its own light now. Um, we're producing plenty of gas to tell us, that, you know, it's all working well. So. Yeah, we've had the methane tractor for six months now. We've got one of the prototype ones. Um, we've been lucky enough when they finished with the development that's been here to put more hours on the clock. Um, we've used it around the farm for various jobs. And well, my sort of thing is, that you, if you didn't know, you would know it's no different to a diesel tractor. It's just, there is no downside to it. Environmentally, short term, there is a lot of benefits. It's helped our soil health and our grass growth and. Um, it's helped reduce our fertiliser cost as well, which is always a bonus. But I think long term there will be more gains to be had, won't there? Yeah. With selling any spare gas. It's an up and coming fuel, isn't it? So we see it once it takes off commercially and there's a demand for the gas, hopefully, you know, we can meet that and um, we, we'll start to hopefully see a small financial gain. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So we've done a lot of work with the Cornwall Agritech team who do our carbon footprint and take soil samples and carbon samples for us and they were quite confident that within sort of 18 months to two years we could become you know net carbon zero because of everything that we've done and we've got our own borehole so we've got our own supply of water and the digestate then will give us a good a good base for the soil and the grass growth as well so we shouldn't need to have to buy anything in to enhance what we've already got. In the um, long term if the, uh, the the gas power generation takes off as well, if we were to run that gas generator, we could be off grid. Completely off grid, yeah, which would so. be really nice. Well, it's been a huge plus for us with all the new rules and regulations on slurry management um, and water runoff, and it's in the news and the farming talk all the time. And it's nice to be able to say there is a solution to that. You can, I mean, it's not an easy process by any stretch of the imagination, but you know we are such a small farm compared to a lot of, of dairy farmers and it's nice to say that even a small farm can make a big difference with everything um, and that has proved it hasn't it yeah. like just we've covered our slurry it's sealed it's contained and we get a good digest day out of it so you know it, it has worked out really well hasn't it we've looked this as an opportunity it's led us into more technology we with the digest date side of it we're looking at um, like sort of soil mapping now and you're monitoring your nutrient values. Um, we've, we've gone into some technology to, to monitor that. Um, and then long term, obviously we've got the storage and then the gas quality is good. So um, there's a huge, the next stage probably be for us would be to expand the farm, you know, sort of new milking parlor and, you know, streamline the rest of the farm because th this is really ahead of the rest of the farm now. So. Especially being, like I've said before, we are a small farm and it's nice to think there's quite a few other dairy farms in the area that are very similar to us and you just think if we can make it work, anyone can make it work. And the tractors in themselves, if you didn't know the difference, there, yeah. there is no difference. So it's the same as it's, you know, physically as its diesel counterpart. So there's no, there's no downside to the having a gas one from the tractor point of view. It's, if you've got the fuel, what, you know, why not?